Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to do a shop with me at Target and it's going to have a little bit of a twist. Have you guys ever gone into Target and you were expecting to buy maybe one item and you come out with a full cart? In other words, having Targitis seems like it's pretty common. I'm going to talk about the tips that I use to not walk out with a full cart. So before I fully get into the video, I want to talk about one thing. This is not sponsored at all, but check out how cute this phone case is. I just got the iPhone 11. I've been using this phone for about a week. I got it for my husband and I. I have the white one because it has the dual cameras. I love the phone. The camera is amazing. There's a normal camera and then the wide lens. This is the case I got and this is from Society6. My husband and I both got cases from them for the first time. It had to be a pre-order. I was looking for phone cases. There were like no options on Amazon for a phone case. I ended up going with Society6 because they had the cutest options. I feel like this says... I like plants, but it doesn't scream I like plants, right? Unless you know that this is a Monstera Deliciosa, then it just looks like cool abstract line art. If you type in Monstera or plant, you can go through hundreds and hundreds of phone cases. And because I'm such a picky person, I went through hundreds of options before I finally picked this one. It took me hours. I know. I put together a collection because I couldn't make up my mind. And if you want to check out the collection I put together, I will link it down below. It's a lot of neutrals, all plant related. They have stuff not just for the iPhone 11. They have a lot of options. If you click on any of their prints, you can go and choose whatever phone you have. That was a long spiel, but isn't this the cutest phone case ever? I'm actually really happy with it. It's a two-piece case. So this black part that you see is a bumper piece so that's separate from this hard plastic part I don't know I thought you guys might be interested in that moving on let's actually talk about what I said this video was gonna be about I am doing a shop with me at Target. These tips can be applied to any store. I just chose Target because I think it's really relatable. You could go in with a game plan and then you might walk out with a whole lot more. Then it might not be everyone's problem, but I know it's a common issue. If you want to call it an issue, I mean, I don't judge. <laughs> I went to Target for lashes, lash glue, and then I walked out with just a pack of lashes and lash glue. I ran out of lashes. This one, the Demi Whiskies is what I get and then this one is just a wispy this one is so much longer so that's why I get the more natural one so I just need one of these and I ran out of glue too there's all these different types these are clear and then I always get the dark tone because it dries black and it kind of acts like eyeliner when it dries black so that's why I like that one and then if you want to check out my eyelash tutorial I will link it at the top so when I go into Target, it's not like I walk in with tunnel vision and only grab whatever I want. Because I love home decor, I love their home decor section. They always have the cutest things. That Magnolia line has really adorable things. And I just like to window shop. Everything by Hearth and Hand is just adorable. I just love the style here. love this for lost socks you just pin it to the sign it doesn't tempt me because i have changed my mindset ever since i adopted a more minimalist lifestyle i am very picky and that is in many aspects of my life but i guess it's helpful if you're trying to be minimalist if you're more picky i can go in there and i'll appreciate like oh my gosh that's so cute these are so cute they look like baskets but they're not but if i don't need it or there's something i would change about it i'm probably not gonna get it for instance this mug i saw this and it says world's best plant parent inside we only have a total of four mugs and that was really good for our apartment at the time but what's when we're gonna move into our new place we're obviously gonna need some more mugs if we have people come over unless we have people share 
So the mug, I thought it was really cute. I thought it was a cute concept, but I didn't like how my favorite plants weren't on it. I didn't like the size of the mug, and I didn't like the font that they used inside. And I know that's so extra, but I mean, I didn't walk out with the mug. Even though in the future I'm going to need mugs, but I don't need them right now. So if it's not something that I can change easily, something that I know is going to kind of bother me about whatever it is that I'm looking at, then I'm not going to buy it because that means I don't love it. With minimalism, for me, it means if I love it or I use it. It doesn't have to have a like, complete functional purpose, but if whatever item it is and I absolutely love it, I can't walk out of the store without it, then I can go ahead and get it. And I don't do that a lot. So with everything that I look at, I imagine a place for it in my home. If I cannot think of a place for that item in my home, I'm not going to get it because then it's just going to sit around and create clutter and I'm not about the clutter. I like to have my place very minimal. It's just easier to clean, easier to deal with, easier to keep things organized. So that's just my method. Just imagine if I'm looking at a random piece of home decor. They have a rubber tree wreath here and then a rubber tree garland. I have seen an angel wing begonia wreath here and I can't imagine it in my home, I'm not gonna get it. Also think about the stuff that you do have at home. So if I'm going in there, let's say I have like 20 throw pillows on my couch. Um, if I'm going in there and I'm looking at a throw pillow. <laughs> if you ever come to Target, come and feel this pillow. I don't like how it looks, but it's so soft. If I had 20 at home, I'm probably not going to get that throw pillow, but that's just an example. Just thinking about the stuff that you have at home, and if you have multiples of it already, do you need multiples? If you do, then go ahead and get it, I guess. Another thing is, does it go with your stuff? I just put out a video about the planters that I get. A way for me to keep things more minimal, I guess, even though I have plants that need planters, so that's why I do have multiple planters. I have a whole theme when it comes to planters. I have a whole theme for my home, and if something doesn't go with the color scheme, then I will not get it. If I stand there and think about it, does it actually go with my stuff? That helps me out a lot. I was thinking about something like this for the lounge downstairs, but because... I don't know. I don't want to do too much rattan. I love rattan, but I think there's such a thing as too much. This one's really cute though. It's so small. Another thing that I won't do is I won't buy something just because it's on clearance. I know it's really tempting to go into the clearance section and be like, oh my gosh, it's so cheap. Whatever item it is, I will think to myself, if this was not on clearance, would I get it? Am I only getting it because it's cheap? And if you only get something because the price is low, you're probably not going to use it if you don't have any other reason for getting it. Because buying something cheap that you're not going to use doesn't mean you're saving money on it. Also, another thing is I don't have rules. These all are tips and not rules. <laughs> It's kind of just ingrained in my head now. Which I don't like going window shopping for anything else other than home decor and plants, really. I don't usually go window shopping for clothes unless I'm with some visitors or something. Unless I really need a certain item, then I'll go and look for it. If you leave Target with something you didn't intend on buying, but it still fits your checklist, you can just make your own checklist in your head or like on your phone if you're just trying to get into minimalism or something like that, or you're trying to buy more intentionally leaving the store with more stuff than you intended doesn't mean that you failed so if i go into target and i only needed the lash glue and the lashes if i walked out with some more items but let's say i love it or i am gonna use it and i know i'm gonna use it then that doesn't mean i failed so none of these are rules in my opinion i don't think minimalism should have rules because i've said it before minimalism is a relationship between you and your own stuff so if you can somehow justify it, not that you should find a reason, like a loophole in every single aspect to buy more and more stuff, but if you have a reason for getting it, if you're being intentional with your buying, even if it wasn't planned, then I don't think you failed. Those are just my thoughts on it. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if this has helped out, if you have Targitis yourself. So these tips, I actually apply it to any place that I shop at, but I just thought Target would be more relatable because it's a thing. Targitis is a thing. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah. It's a rubber tree garland.
So they have a rubber tree garland here and then rubber tree, wait. Reap. <laughs> Reap. And if I watch out with one other, blah, blah. 